fans, we got ourselves a co-main event for MSG that was just recently announced. John Jones, Steve Miocic, main event, MSG November, and the co-main event, Yuri Prohashka, the return of Yuri Prohashka, taking on Alex Pereira. Guys, I cannot wait for this co-main event. I think it's almost just as big as the main event because, man, what a war this fight is going to be. This is going to be a battle. So we got Yuri Prohashka, who's been out of the game for quite some time. But we do remember that great fight that he had with Glover Teixeira back in June of 2022. He's been out of the game for quite some time because I believe he had a shoulder injury, if I'm correct. You know, he had to take some time to get let that heal and such. But it looks like he's back and he looks like he's ready to defend his title that he never lost, as a matter of fact. We know that the title got vacated and it became... Um, it went up for grabs with uh, Jamal Hill and Glover Teixeira. Then Jamal Hill ended up winning it. And he was ready to defend it. But then he ended up being injured. I think he tore his Achilles, if I'm correct. And so now the belt becomes vacant and actually goes back to the champion, Yuri Prohashka, who never lost it. And he's going to defend it against the guy who is coming up to light heavyweight. He already made his light heavyweight debut um, back in uh, July. I believe it was July 29th against uh, Jan Blachowicz. In a somewhat slow fight, it wasn't the biggest um, performance or the best performance by Alex Pereira, but it was his uh, light heavyweight debut. I'm sure it took him some time to get adjusted to the new weight, get adjusted to the new uh, fighting rhythm that he has to do because, you know, spending all his time, all his years at middleweight, he was the biggest middleweight I think anybody's ever seen. You know, he was such a monster there. So he decided to make his, uh, he decided to move up to light heavyweight. You know, stop cutting all that weight. And, you know, I think it was a little bit more than what it expected to be. But at the end of the day, you got to remember, Jan Blachowicz is not no punk. He is definitely a savage. So it wasn't a very easy fight. It was a slow fight. But at the end of the day, Alex Pereira got the victory. And now he has to take on Yuri Prohashka. <clears throat> and guys, these guys are going to go to war. You got the power of Alex Pereira who could pretty much put out anybody's lights out. We could pretty much stop anybody. We saw what he was able to do to Israel Adesanya. And we saw what he was able to do to Sean Strickland. So, yes, he did not do that to Jan Blachowicz. But that does not mean he still can't be a power hitter in the light heavyweight division. Now we also see the craziness and the rowdiness of Yuri Prohashka. We saw that war with Glover Teixeira. With that back and forth battle. We seen what he was able to do to a few other light heavyweights. Like Dominic Reyes and a few other guys in um, within the division. So guys, this is going to be a very exciting fight. I'm so pumped to break this fight down. As we get closer, it is going to be so, so much um, going on in this card. I cannot wait to look forward to more fight announcements that they're going to do. Come um, November, come MSG. It is going to be a great event, guys. So guys, let me know in the comments on what you think about this fight. Let me know who do you think is going to win. I know it's a little early to tell, but still let me know, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.